women without makeup are pretty, but they can be pretty powerful with the right makeup. Hi, I'm Pooja and you're watching Foxy and today we're going to be talking about some do's and don'ts of makeup. The first point that I'm going to be touching on today is uh, having the right foundation shade for yourself. So your foundation shade should be something which should be tested from the lower part of your cheek going up to the neck. You know, because this is the area. People usually test it on their hands. But you know, the color of the hand is very different from the color of the, you know, face. And from, uh, you know, it, it can have different type of tanning at different places, right? So you need to check the foundation shade and it should be something which should make it very bright. You know, it should not make it white. And there's a difference between white and bright. The second point that I'm going to be talking about today is using the right concealer. Now a lot of times what happens is we all are aware that a concealer is something which is two to three shades lighter than your foundation shade. But if my eyes are below dark circles and I apply directly to concealer directly, then the chances of it turning grey is more. So what we are not using is the right corrector. For instance, if my eyes are below dark circles, hai, then I use, need to use a peach or an orange corrector. And on top of it is where I will use my concealer. Without that, the area will turn grey within no minutes. Uh, the third point that I'm going to be talking about is uh, the contour technique that we apply. You know, we have to be very careful with the color of our contour and the way we do it because it can actually change the shape of the face. Just think, one cheekbone is high and the other is drooping low. You know, how funny it can look, right? So we have to be very accurate in terms of using the brushes, using the right tools for creating those looks. The next point is about using a blush. A lot of times we just kind of, you know, pack it here. It's like we give it But the idea is that for a softer look, we have to blend that blush out. If you're not going to blend it out, it's just going to look like, you know, how we see those clowns with those red cheeks. That's how it's going to look. So we have to blend the blush very nicely. And the final point that I'm going to be touching today is about using the setting powder after the application of your product for a long stay look. A lot of times because we have those dry skins, we tend to avoid this step, you know, and then we feel makeup to rani, chesat ghande ho gain, the makeup is also kind of going away. So if you want that to stay at the right place, we have to lock it using a setting powder. We don't have to be scared using it. It's just that we have to use the right quantity at the right place. So I hope today's makeup tutorial was a bit helpful to you and you will keep all these points in mind while doing your own makeup so that you don't end up making any makeup disasters. For more such content, log on to Foxy. Stay fab, stay foxy. Yeah.